Let me talk to you guys. Had a call today, and this is a re- I just this is more informational. A recurrent uh, that I hear on recurring calls, and I'm just gonna get right to it. Excuses. I, I, I just the the world's full of them. Everyone has them. Um, and as I talk to people, here is how many conversations go. I'm happy to talk to whoever wants to talk to me. I'm happy to help out any way I can. But understand that the advice I'm going to give you is the ones that I live by. And the ones that I live by, the, 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 the rules that I live by, have resulted in what you see before you and what I've been able to do with my health over the last two years. And so based on that and my life experience uh, again, started my own, you know, come from nothing, started my own company at 28, was a millionaire at 33. Uh, and the ups and downs that I've had throughout the last 20 plus years of my life doing that, all together with then what I've done over the last two years, I'm going to take all of that together and tell you what I think based on the practical uh, results that I had and continue to have working out. So somebody will tell me their problem, they'll tell me what's going on, they'll tell me the issues you're having, they're overweight, they're diabetic, uh, legs don't work, the knees are shot, the back is bad, the shoulder's out, uh, the AFib, the A flutter, whatever it might be, whatever problem they might have, everybody's got a problem. I will say, here's what I would do, X, Y, and Z. Anybody watch my videos knows pretty much what I'm going to tell you to do. And inevitably, um, 60% of the calls I will get interrupted through that and someone will say, yeah, I can't do that. Or they will at least listen to the entire uh, piece of advice and at the end say, I can't because. So I can't because. So if you say, I can't because, if your thinking is, I can't because, you've already failed. I've seen it in life, in business, uh, in health, uh, in diet. I can't because you're done. See, I succeeded with all of the roadblocks that I have because I don't say I can't because. I only. I, I didn't, and I knew I wasn't when I was getting fat and I was dying and I was miserable. I knew exactly what I was doing. I play no games with myself in my head. I knew exactly what I was doing. I knew it wasn't good for me. I knew I continued to do it. I knew I was self-soothing. I knew I was trying to deal with all of the stress and the BS that's been going on in my life for the last five years. I knew exactly what I was doing. I make no excuses for it. And the results of it, I deserved because I did it to myself. But the flip side to that is I got out of it. And I got out of it for exactly the same reasons. When I was ready, I pulled that trigger and then I went all, all in. I did, not, I did not say I couldn't. I only figured out how I could. I knew that I was going to succeed. I just didn't know how. And I started out and I found my way. And I succeeded and I failed, but I mostly succeeded. And the more I succeeded, the more I learned and the less I failed and the more I succeeded. And so that has to be the approach to trying to find your health and get healthy. It works in life too, and it's simple, but it's, it's reality. You have to, have to, have to not have the opinion that I can't because. Whatever you, ailment you have, and I have a billion of them, you have to look beyond those and understand that getting healthy is probably going to wipe out half of what's wrong with you. Now, I can hear it now. I can hear the call now where I say that and someone says, yeah, but my problem. I said, wait, I just said, what did I say about yeah, but? Yeah, but my problem's special. My problem's different. You don't understand my problem. My problem is going to stop me from what? Putting food in your mouth? Is your problem going to stop you from getting food in your mouth? You don't got to go push weights and grow gigantic muscle or whatever. Just, just don't put food in your mouth or put less food in your mouth. What problem do you have that, that precludes you from putting food in your mouth? Or not putting food in your mouth. Just don't do it. And that's all you got to do. You do that enough days in a row. 30 days, you're going to be down weight. 60 days, you're going to be down more. 90 days, is just going to continue until you start to feel good enough. And all of a sudden, the problems that you think you have go away because you didn't say, yeah, but. So I don't care how bad the problem is. I'm working with a guy who's in a wheelchair right now. 335 pounds. Going hardcore on carnivore. Has failed and started and failed and started. And he's back going again. And I'm hoping, I'm rooting hard for him because his attitude's in the right spot. He's trying to do the right things. I want that to be you. But you can't say, yeah, but. Opportunities are everywhere. You got to go get them. Go for a walk. Come on, people. Let's do it.